all of my soldados, I mean my soldiers, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a general. So I'm always on the front line as a general, but as a chief, I gotta be able to look at each one of my soldiers and see what they need, whether it be psychologically, mm -hmm. whether it be helping them with emotional intelligence to navigate their emotions, whether it be to show them how to nurture themselves, whether it be to show them how to exhibit their confidence and find that confidence in they self. I gotta be able to look at whatever need that it is. And it's beautiful that God allowed me to go through all of these things yeah. because I'm a greater blessing. I embrace the things that happened to me in my past with a sense of positivity. I replace that negative emotion attached to it with a positive emotion and I'm grateful for everything that happened because I'm a greater blessing to the world. Yeah. I mean so much more to the world now. Don't nobody walk up to no other, uh, without due respect, like no disrespect to these other rappers. I swear to God, I'm not. Don't nobody walk up to them and tell them, you changed my life, and show them slices where they tried to kill themselves and commit suicide and say, you stopped me from committing suicide. I was vulnerable. I peeled all yeah. the layers back. I let you feel a bullet hole in my head and told you I put it there. I'm the one who said that I disconnected my Instagram in 2020 and tried to take my own life. I'm the one who said these things so other people understand it's okay to feel like this. But this is the way that I, I changed it around. I take all of that negative emotion and energy and I put it in, I turn my pain into passion. I put it into something that better serves me and humanity. You got fake eyelashes. You got fake hair. You got fake ass. You got fake everything on your body. But you want a real nigga. Like, I worked hard for these results. I suffered. I went through the fire. Adversity builds character. I went through the fire for this. I only had surgery one time on my leg when I got shot. Nigga knocked my bone out my leg because I ain't about to, I wouldn't give it up. God bless the dead because I ain't going to give it up. But anyway, long story short, you going to kill me anyway, so I might as well fight for my life. You going to kill me anyway. So anyway, long story short, not again. I, I just, that surgery fucked with me so bad that I can't see myself willingly going through that again. I can't, so I worked hard for this shit. I suffered for this shit. And I was honest with everybody. I said I became so infatuated with being slim and having a body. I used to take Adderall to go to the gym. I used to take so much pre-workout, it probably would have bust my heart. By the grace of God, I'm still here. Until I started just celebrating my success in small increments and not comparing myself to the people that I see on the Instagram with the perfect bodies and shit. Now my body, that bitch perfect. Image, because I wanted to be the best of the best of the... I wanted to be that. And it's like, now, since I've been on the mushrooms, not the psychedelic mushrooms, but like the lion's mane, the reishi, the cordyceps, the turkey tail, like it's like the mushroom blend pre-workouts and stuff like that before I go work out. It give me a better cognitive function. It's like beet juice and the saffron give you that mental focus that you be looking for. It give you all of them things. Some, some That's a cry for help when you see somebody going to the gym three, four times a day. Right. Something not right with him because something wasn't right with me. And as men, we'll go to the gym and just kill ourselves and hurt ourselves in the gym to keep from hurting somebody else. There's a lot of men that suffer in mm. silence. They come up to me, they hug me in the gym, they cry right there when they see me. Cause I see you. I, I've been really putting energy into me. Like I, I take to. salt baths at night. Like I do the things that it take for me to heal. I ain't talking about going get a pedicure and manicure. That's just maintenance. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about really soul searching with yourself, getting with yourself, sitting alone with yourself and working through them psychological traumas, emotional traumas, that type of shit. But when they hear it, all you got to do is go back in the history books and look. Anything that came wrong me, then became different. But when the beloved is off a of location, yeah. ones return unto original form. So I can't get mad at a woman that was dealing with me. Like I said, I'm not the richest man in the world. I done been broke more times than I done been rich. I done lost way more fights than I done won, but I won the ones that count. And it ain't been a time that I wasn't scared or I didn't have fear. It's okay to have fear. Mm. But I operate and I face that fear with bravery. I've been in the streets my whole life. See, I don't have that story like, well, I was never not thugging. Mm. When was I ever not thugging from anybody that know me? When was I ever not thugging? You look at the Kevin Gates, now this is a blessing. This is beautiful to see me 
right here like this. It, that's what give me my drive right now because when I look in the mirror and, and I think back in retrospect and I always wonder, I would hate to suffer with the regret of what if I only would have tried. Yeah. I never, it, it hurt me. When I remember being in prison, watching all them different artists on TV, winning Grammys and whatever it is they win, I was like, you knowing your soul that's supposed to be. That's why yeah. I love when Inka Johnson say that. We live by this, we die by this, we don't surrender, we don't retreat. Every man must search his own soul. I listen to that quote every morning. Everything I do is emulated. So I am now. I was chasing something that I already have. You know, and me standing on the side of certain people, if it's not authentic, you know, the authenticity always is going to rule. The law of lenity states that whenever two opposing forces cannot come to an agreement, the lesser always rules the greater. And, you know, I come as I am. It's very scary. And my ego is a beautiful thing because it got me to this point. Thank you for getting me, to, but I don't need I you don't anymore. Need you. But it's tricky because the ego really only that'll keep us safe. It's only that'll keep us safe. But it's tricky because it, it creep back in. I need a pacifiers. And when you come from poverty, you come from the streets, it's competitive. Like, it's always about the nigga who have emotion. And for those of y'all that don't know what motion mean, that's like you mm-hmm. having your way, you having something going mm-hmm. on, mm-hmm. you financially well off, so to say. So you have emotion, you got something going on. So I always wanted to look like I was having emotion or have some motion. And there even was a point where it was like, you you know, you fake it till you make it. And then it was a point where it was like, you know what, man, let's just be clean. Most people say I'm the hardest person to work with, but I'm really not. I'm a simpleton. I'm simple. My phone's going airplane mode at like 8 p.m. because the people think I'm weird, but the transmission is still transmitting radiation. This disrupts your melatonin cycles. It, it, it disrupts that. You're not getting a good night's sleep with Same. the phone in the room. People talking about binary beats and all that shit. That's just hypnosis. The be- most beautiful thing you can listen to is your own breath. Put you some earplugs in. Your breath. Your breath is the most beautiful thing you can listen to in your own heartbeat. Mm-hmm. That's the most beautiful thing you can listen to. Now, you might be having thoughts and be detoxing. You know, you jump and twitch and your body move. That's just, in- you just releasing energy. Mm-hmm. It's just boggled up energy. See, I do a lot of yoga, so I move that energy around. That energy got to be moved around in the body. So once you know what's going on, you don't need nothing to suppress it like a drug or this or that. Man, everything we need is already in us. Mm -hmm. Then I go to the gym, like, I get up like three or four. I take me a cold shower because I I, I like the way it charged me. That's like my coffee. I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. I'm in the gym when I'm in the gym before the doors open. Like when the I say before the doors open, but if it's five, like if it's four, like 40, they're usually kind of opening to let me in. 